Hello everyone. We will continue the topic O data and we are covering O data service creation steps. And in the previous videos, we finished with first three steps, project creation, data model creation, and generation of runtime artifacts. And after that, we went into the detailed understanding of model provider class and data provider class. Simple, simple understanding. Model provider base class is all about structure of the service and data provider base class is all about logic or we can say output of the service. Now we will simply, simply move on to extension classes. Now along with model provider base class and data provider base class, SAP generates two extension classes also. Now what are those two extension classes? Model provider extension class and data provider extension class. They will simply say it as MPC underscore EXT, DPC underscore EXT. Now, model provider class is the super class of model provider extension class. Data provider class is the super class of data provider extension class. Whenever I will go for these extension classes, Ultimately, the super class of these extension classes are model provider base class and data provider base class itself. It means whatever are they, whatever is there in the base classes, it will automatically come into the extension classes. And the best is naming convention, same to say. You will go for ZCL project name underscore MPC. Now we have to use the word underscore EXT and same for the data class. We need to use the word DPC underscore EXT. This is the best part of SAP in terms of O data topic. SAP followed the best naming convention and by the name itself, we can predict. Now what I will do, I will simply go to the system. I will show you extension classes and at the last will come on to extremely important point because if we already have the base classes, then what is the need of extension classes? That is again important question from the interview perspective. So firstly, we will understand the extension classes. So I will go for the system. So we will see what are those extension classes. Now, what is the naming convention of the extension classes? ZCL underscore project name underscore MPC underscore EXT. You can go to SC24 transaction code. Now I will simply go for display. Now for this extension class, Super class is ultimately our model provider base class only. If I will go to properties tab, you can see our super class is ultimately model provider base class only. It means whatever is there in the model provider base class, it will automatically come into the extension class. Now, if I will show you this DPC underscore EXT data provider extension class. If I will go for DPC underscore EXT, I will go for display. The super class of this is if I will go to properties, it is ultimately our data provider class only. So whatever is there in the data provider class, it will automatically come into the extension class. Now we will simply, simply come here. In the last video, I told you many people will think you are saying, yes, in data provider class, we will write the logic. Yes. Then why, why SAP is giving data provider extension class here? Yes. Now we will go into extremely important point from the interview perspective. 
just we'll go for simple understanding. What is our current requirement? We want to or we have to select that data from VBAK table. We are creating a O data service. Yes, it will fetch that data from VBAK table. And yes, it will simply, simply pass and it will display into our web application or whatever the front end is there. It means we are going for getting that data. We are going for read. Yes, we are going for multiple records. We will not go for single record. It means we need to go for which particular method get entity set. This is the class and we will go for this particular method. Into this particular method, we will write the logic. Yes, because ultimately you are writing the logic into data provider class. So we will go for data provider class. We will go for this particular method and we will write the code. Now, just see, you have written the code. Your service is working fine. You are writing the logic in data provider class, not in the extension class. Now we will go for next scenario. After a few days, what happened? Customer is saying, in this old data service, I want two extra fields. Then what you will do? You will add those two extra fields into the data model. Yes, then you will regenerate your service. Whenever you will regenerate your service, whatever the logic is there in the data provider class, it will be overridden. This is the main, main disadvantage if you are directly touching the base classes. So whenever you will regenerate the service, your logic will delete automatically because SAP will generate the logic again. And whatever the custom logic you have written, it will never, never be there. That's why SAP is saying, I am giving you extension classes based upon your custom requirement, just add your logic in the extension classes. It means if you are doing something to the service again, if you are regenerating, I will not touch the extension classes. I will only, only regenerate the base classes. Yes, this is the extremely, extremely important question from the interview perspective. Guaranteed interviewer will ask, if you have the base classes, then why, why you have the extension classes? The simple understanding is if you are changing your old data service, if you are adding something to the old data service, if you are deleting some fields from that service, then you need to regenerate the website. You need to generate the old data service. Suppose if by mistake, I'm using the word web service, please ignore that word. It is O data service only. In that case, what will happen? SAP will regenerate the code of base classes also. It means whatever the custom logic you have written, it will also got deleted and you have to go for rework. That's why SAP is saying, do not go for or do not touch the base classes. Do everything based upon your custom requirement in the extension classes because ultimately extension classes, the super class is your base class. So ultimately, if something is re regenerating, it will come to your extension class automatically. Then why you are worrying about the for the same? So please, please go for your extension classes whenever you have a custom requirement and you are extending the service. So this is one of the extremely important advantage. That's why SAP is saying here extension class. You need to go to extension class, add the logic. Extension class, add the logic. Suppose if you want to create, you have to go to this method into extension class. You have to go to this method extend for this particular extension class because if I will go for this extension class, this data, the data provider extension class, we have same to same methods there which I showed you in the previous video. We have five methods for create, read, yes, update, delete, yes, because ultimately our data provider class is a super class for this particular class. Now, if I will read the theory here, 
you will understand why why we are going for extension classes and why SAP provided the provision of extension classes in case we use base classes for customization. Suppose you are writing the logic into data provider base class and you are regenerating the service. At that time, what will happen? SAP will regenerate the code of base classes as well and it will override your custom logic. So it is always preferable to use extension classes. So you can simply bifurcate. If I'm talking about base class, so you need to understand model provider base class, data provider base class. If I'm using the word extension classes, so simply understand I'm talking about model provider extension class and data provider extension class. So what is the summary of this particular video? Again, important topic from the interview perspective. Now, along with base classes, SAP generate extension classes also. Now, one is model provider extension class and one is the data provider extension class. MPC underscore EXT, data DPC underscore EXT. Your base classes are ultimately super classes for this extension classes. So for model provider extension class, model provider class is the super class. For data provider extension class, data provider class is the super class. And these are the naming convention. Ultimately, SAP simply using the word EXT at the last underscore EXT. MPC underscore EXT for model provider extension class and DPC underscore EXT for data provider extension class. It is always recommended to use extension classes for your customization and extens extending the service. Customization means depends upon your requirement. You are writing the logic. Never, never use the base classes for customization because whenever you will regenerate the service, SAP will override your custom logic. Then you have to rework again. That's why SAP is saying never go for base classes. I'm giving you provision of extension classes. Do your customization in the extension classes. And there's nothing for you to worry because ultimately whatever the regeneration code is there, it is coming into your extension classes because the base classes are the super class for this extension class. In the next video, we will go for registered model and registered service. And then we will go for implementation part. Implementation means we will write the logic in the method. So that's it in this video. Thank you.